Good evening everybody, it's the 6th of April 2016. It's me again, Ernie Hayes, aka Blue Ernie, on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, hello to all my friends and family all over the world, hope you're doing alright. Now, I did a video yesterday about my latest purchases and just like to say thanks to everybody who's watched it on YouTube, uh, Facebook. If you get a chance, share it so everyone else can see it and, uh, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Blue Ernie or Ernie A's as I'm known on YouTube. And I've got loads of other videos on there about, about films that I like and all about topics that I enjoy talking about, film, music and everything. So have a look, check it out, see what you think. Now, today I'm doing a special uh, little video as requested by a good friend of mine called Kevin A.J. McGilligan from Gorton, Manchester. Now, I'm talking about my favourite all-time comedy film ever. And I mean my favourite. I've got lots of favourites, but this one, it just bumped right there. It was made in 1963 by Stanley Kramer. Huge, huge, huge cast. If you were to make it today, it would cost millions and millions we are talking about of course stanley kramer's comedic comedic masterpiece it's a mad 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 world now kevin i put kevin onto this film because when i was younger in my early 20s when i was living at my dad's house i invited a lot of my friends i they were all heavy rockers that that's all into rock music and everything they all had long hair and everything and i invited about eight or nine of us around and they all went around to the house and i remember it i think it was a monday or a wednesday afternoon middle of summer drawn the curtains put the big telly on i had the video uh, the video warner brothers video of it and i played them in a normal version as in the 161 minute version of the film. Now most of them had never heard of it. And when I put It's a Mad Mad World on. Uh, everyone. I have not seen people laugh so much. Nearly two and a half hours later when it was over. Uh, everyone was just talked about it for everything. And it stuck in my mind as one of my favourites. When I was 13 it was on the TV. That's why I got to like it. I watched it over a bank holiday weekend. And I was 13 years old. And I just thought absolute quality it made me chuckle loads this blu-ray is a five disc criterion usa collection criterion are a bit like arrow video in the uk they restore films and they treat them with the utmost respect i'll talk about that in a bit since i've had the film in my brain for years as a kid getting on for 40 years I've acquired the cinema poster. It took me 15 years to find a UK quad cinema poster, which I've got upstairs in my bedroom in a frame. The frame cost me more than the poster, but it's a rare poster. It's absolutely amazing poster. I love it to bits. I've also got the soundtrack on CD, a special edition one, with all the extra songs and all the stuff, interviews. And it opens up. I'll just show you quickly. Before I talk about the film, it opens up into a big poster and loads of snippets and stuff all about the Mad Mad World film. And there's all quotes and then you turn over the other side and you've got more quotes and then it opens up into a black and white poster saying if ever there was a Mad 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 World needed it's a mad 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 world it's now and it's a good poster i bought that a few years back it's getting quite rare to get hold of on cd now i used to have the vinyl but alas this is the american region one dvd with the blue spine which is out of print or they call them oopsies they're out of print hard to get hold of that's the region one as i said Gives you all that. It's also got a documentary, something a little less serious on it. It's a flipper. I don't like flippers, but it's a flipper. Which means one side's the film, the other side's the documentaries and all that stuff. Before I talk about the film, this came last year by Criterion. I have 
a my auntie Jean, her daughter Cheryl Bassford Wilcox lives in San Diego. My auntie Jean was on holiday visiting her, and last year and it's region A, so it won't play in anywhere apart from America. While she was there last year, I bugged her on Facebook, talked to her and everything, and I begged her to order it on Amazon USA for me on Blu-ray. And I think I paid $25 for it. Oh, it's very, very rare now. It's hard to find in the UK. It's not even on Blu-ray in the UK. And my auntie Jean was there for four weeks. So it arrived. She sent me a picture and everything. She said, I've got it. And I was like, oh, God, I was ecstatic. So happy. Big smile on my face. Loving it. Then when I got it home, I thought I had a multi-region blu-ray player but i only had a multi-region dvd section of it the blu-ray wouldn't play so my stepsister joanne Luce, lives in chester was also going to florida last summer so i got hold of her and i begged her and i've mithered her and she went into a big electrical place in america and bought me a region one blu-ray player it cost me 120 dollars got over here about 80 quid just to play one film i got it and it's upstairs i don't even have it in the front room it's just upstairs just so i can play this film that's how much i love the film i've spent a fortune on this in the years on different formats and everything i haven't got a t-shirt i've got a starsky and Hutch t-shirt but i haven't got a mad world t-shirt i'd like one but there you go now that's the story of how i love the film so much I've I've shown it to people from my family, from my kids, my little sisters and everything, my dad and everyone. I've all watched the film. My other ass watched it. And it is a great film. The reason I got the Blu-ray Criterion one is it's got the original, what you would call the 161 minute version, which is very good. It's all 4K remastered, full surround sound and everything. But originally it was going to be a four hour film. With all clips and trailers, because in the old days, cinemas used to show a film, especially if it was a long one, and they'd stop it halfway so you can have an interval, and people can go and get drinks and pop and toilet or whatever they want to do. And in between it, they used to play music and adverts and everything, a bit like the telly. So with this one, the people who've restored it have gone back and they've found loads of footage that they thought had been destroyed by MGM years ago and they've managed to make a 197 minute version of the film in 70 millimeter 4k DTS master audio restoration 2.35 widescreen because originally it was done in sense around and everything and it was a massive film and it is gorgeous beautiful on blu-ray on a big screen a big tele a surround sound it's great i urge anyone if you've never seen it worth checking out the basic i'll give a basic plot i'm not going to spoil it it's basically it starts off at the beginning there's a car going down this road in the middle of nowhere in the desert in america the car goes off the road and crashes down into this valley five cars behind it pull up to go and see what's going on and they run down to help this driver and all these people are hanging around this guy and he starts telling them because it's in the trailer you're not going to have any spoilers because it's a comedy it's just about greed people wanting money this guy is a robber and he's hidden for that year is a lot of money $250,000 or $350,000 under a big W right in Santa Rosita that's all they know and as he says that he literally kicks this bucket and it comes down the hill and that's the beginning so all these lot all these people who've heard all this are all looking at each other thinking is he mad is he crazy is he daft is it a load of rubbish but the police turn up and they all clam up and shut up and at the beginning and then they basically all go up into the cars and they go off driving but they don't go fast. They're all following each other and they're all talking in between, thinking about he believes it, she doesn't, and it's absolutely fantastic. And eventually it becomes a race because they all don't trust each other. They all want to get to this big W 
and get the money. But no one knows where the big W is apart from it's in Santa Rosita. So these are hundreds of thousands of miles away and they just start heading off in this race. And along the way they meet loads of people, loads of different people and everyone and before you know it, all these people are trying to get this money or find this place where this money is. And it is absolutely hilarious. It is fantastic. I'm going to give you some of the names in the 63 original version. Here we go. I'll get my trusty poster because I'll forget them all otherwise. How is this for a lineup? If you had this today, it would cost over 300 million to make because they'd all want money. Spencer Tracer, Milton Burl, Sid Caesar, Buddy Hackett, brilliant, one of the best comedians ever, Ethel Merman, legend. Mickey Rooney, Dick Sean as Sylvester, Phil Silvers, a.k.a. Bilko, Terry Thomas from England, fantastic, Jonathan Winters, another legend. Then you've got Edie Adams, Eddie Rochester Anderson, Jim Backus, Joey Brown. You've even got Andy Devane, you've got Peter Falk, Lumbo is in it. You've even got Jerry Lee Lewis is in it. Not Jerry Lee Lewis, Jerry Lewis. You've even got Buster Keaton, Don Knotts, Carl Reiner and the Three Stooges make an appearance as well. Honestly, with a cast like that and they're all after money. If they remade it today, I've said it three times. Well, they did try and remake it in 2001. The people who did Airplane, the Zucker Brothers, did their version of it called Rat Race with John Cleese, Whoopi Goldberg... Cuba Gooding Jr. and Rowan Atkinson. Enough said. They did. They've also did a holi uh, an Indian Hollywood Bollywood remake as well called The Halama. All failed miserably. If you want a laugh, and I mean it seriously, I'll just open this up. The reason why I got this, as I said, it opens up into this humongous. There we go, it's a mad, mad world. Then it opens up into that with all the store credits. And then it opens up into that. I'll have to go along and I'll open that one. You get five discs in total. There we go. And when you turn the back round, as I said, you turn it round, you end up with a one of the posters on the back. And obviously all the extras. It comes with... The roadmap where they started off and where they end up looking for the money. And there's all significant 1 to 28 stops along the way and it shows you where they are. And you get a booklet all about the restoration and the 4K and everything. Fantastic set. If you ever get a chance to get it. I've heard Criterion are coming over into the UK and going to release films in the UK. I hope they do stuff like this because I'll be buying a lot of stuff from them. So that's my little tour of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. If you fancy a laugh, a good old-fashioned laugh, and I mean belly laugh, no vile, no bad language or anything, you want fun, action, stunts galore, no CGI. All of this was done with proper stuntmen. If you want fun in a capital F, get it's a mad, 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 mad world. It is the best comedy ever made. And I mean that. In my own opinion, I love it. And there you go. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the weekend coming up. I'll see you all real soon. I might do another in-depth DVD video of another favourite of mine. Probably with Neil and I or something like that. I don't know yet. See how we go. But everyone, enjoy yourself. And remember, it is a mad world out there. It's all right.